35-year-old Shamim Namsot is a resident of Morwa Peso village in Soroti district. She's been living with HIV for almost eight years now, and in these years she has had three babies. But she has a fourth born whom she gave birth to in 2006 when she was HIV negative. After she was diagnosed with HIV in her second pregnancy, she thought life had ended. Sister told me the drugs I'm giving you, it will help you inside, to help the baby also inside, not to get the disease. When you look at the trend of her children, the firstborn benefited from PMTCT. And uh, the rest have benefited from EMTCT because of the support of her husband. This one I'm carrying, I can't, I can't say because I've not yet seen the results. But the health worker has seen the results. The PCR shows the baby is negative. She's however still exposed to her mother's virus, but the fact that she went through the program with her second and third child has brought her hope. Besides, exclusive breastfeeding and adherence to drugs which she does by both mother and child significantly reduces the risk. The question she's always asked is why she continues getting pregnant despite knowing her status. These women desire to have children. The scientific evidence is available, the technologies are available. I was looking for a girl in fact. Most importantly though, HIV positive mothers have become so confident in the EMTCT program so much so that they want to have as many babies as their hearts desire. But the health workers are not so excited about this. It's as normal as any other normal woman, when we overgive birth, we become weaker. So, and the mere fact that they, they already have the virus, we do not want them to get very weak and lose their life on the way. According to Dr. Steve Okoku, the UNICEF HIV team leader in Uganda, being HIV positive shouldn't stop a woman from having children, but the risk of transmitting the virus to the baby is then higher for them. The first baby, the risk is very high, second, three, four, after four it gets more serious. The HIV positive mothers are encouraged to use family planning methods effectively, just like those without the virus. In a country with about 800,000 women above 15 years in their reproductive ages, living with HIV, Different partners, including the Office of the First Lady on HIV and AIDS, want to minimize all risks that can increase chances of a baby getting the virus from its mother. First Lady Janet Museveni launched the elimination of mother-to-child transmission program in Teso sub-region to curb the spread of the disease in the area, with emphasis on male involvement. Hold hands with their wives that they may bring to the world children that are free of HIV. Uganda is expected to join countries like Cuba, which have been declared to have eliminated HIV transmission from the mother to the child by the World Health Organization. The country has actually moved from as high as uh, reporting 27,000 HIV infections in children in 2009 to just about 9,500. This number certainly is still high, but we hope that with concerted efforts, of the parents that they may become so angry to commit themselves that HIV and AIDS will not get to the, 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 their children's generation. The State Minister for Health in charge of primary health care, Sarah Opendi, is pushing for each individual to get tasted, including girls as young as 13, since most are married off early. We shall not achieve an HIV-free generation if each one of you does not get tested and you know your status. There will be no less than between 500 up to 700,000 Ugandans who are to be on treatment. Now, unfortunately, this one they have not even tested, let alone even to know they are HIV positive covered eight regions, this is the ninth one, and we are seeing the rate of children who are infected going down in every region, and that is very exciting. Soroti Regional Referral Hospital hasn't had a baby born positive in the past four months. Each month they've been delivering between 15 and 20 positive mothers. They have put their trust in us. They have realized that actually that we, uh, they need us and we need them. I was born HIV free. Yay! Florence Nalimba, NTV. Okay,